light basically a form of energy if it is incident on a surface three things can happen one the surface can reflect some part of the light so that is what we mean by reflection and the surface can transmit the light through it the other third thing that can happen is the medium can absorb the light now when i say apart from reflection when the surface is allowing the light to pass through it here comes the picture of refraction so whenever light ray a light ray if you consider it is traveling from one medium to the other medium it bends and travels to understand this concept we'll take a glass of water as you see here and we'll immerse a pencil into it a filled half of the glass is filled with water okay you see from the side and if you just immerse the pencil in slant direction like that from the horizontal direction if you see it will appear as if the pencil is appearing to be broken from the surface of the water why the pencil is appearing to be bent that is one question another example if we consider where in shopping malls and kirana stores and some other shops they put a glass of water and a lemon in it as you see here okay now if you see from the outside outside of the glass from sideways the lemon appears to be very big okay its size is appearing to be bigger but whereas actually it is not the same size the actual size of the lemon is smaller than what it is appearing so why it is appearing like that why the lemon is appearing to be bigger so what is the reason behind it that is nothing but bending of light when it is traveling from one medium to the other medium when i say when it is traveling from one medium to the other medium so the other medium these two media should be basically the medium which will allow the light to pass through it so basically we are speaking about some transparent medium like air water glass etc okay so when air as a when a light ray travels from air to water it will bend and travels for example i'll take a border between air and water here like this let us consider a light ray which is incident on the surface which is the boundary between air and water okay so po is the incident ray actually the light ray should go along the path ps okay but what is happening is it is bending at the point o o is the point of incidence it is bending at the point o and then it is taking a different path oq so it is this bending of light when it is traveling from one transparent medium to other transparent medium what do we call refraction of light okay now here whatever the surface i am considering the water surface is a plane surface okay so now po is called the incident ray here because the light ray is not going along the original direction that is pos it is bending and traveling along the direction oq so we call oq as the refracted ray now o is the point of incidence okay now what we'll do is we'll draw a normal at the point of incidence say n o n dash is the normal fine now there is an angle between the incident ray po and the normal no this angle will be called as the angle of incidence denoted by i okay similarly there is an angle between the normal o n dash and o q which is the refracted ray so this is called angle of refraction okay denoted by r in the lower case now if you see the light ray instead of going along the direction pos pos is the original direction of the incident ray if there is no water over there the light ray will follow that path pos but because of the presence of the water surface over there it is bending and traveling so it is deviating from its path instead of going along pos it is going along poq okay so how much it is getting deviated it will be measured by an angle and what is that angle angle between os and oq okay this angle you will call it as angle of deviation 
so generally we denote it by d in the lower case okay now i will have certain angle for air water interface say i am fixing some angle of incidence and then studying how much is the angle of refraction how much is the angle of deviation fine now will it be the same angle through which the light ray will bend irrespective of different media that is one question let us suppose i'll take one more interface air glass interface now that means i am considering the light ray going from air to glass now in this case what is happening as you see here po is the incident ray so o is the point of incidence on the air glass interface okay and instead of going along pos it is deviating and the light ray is deviating and going along poq now if you see these two the light ray going from a to water and a to glass what difference do you find it is nothing but the angle of refraction in the case of air glass interface is smaller okay when compared to the angle of refraction in the air water interface so when i say the angle of refraction in the case of air glass is lesser than the angle of refraction in air water interface what do you mean by that what do you understand from that it is very clear that for even if the angle of incidence is same in both the cases okay the angle of refraction is different and it is more in the case of air water interface when compared to air glass interface that means light ray is bending more in glass compared to that in water 